controls of my life. Hey, Ariel. I just wanted to um, done, done. to share this extraordinary view of a uh, Jackson Park, um, number thirty-one. Um, it's really stunning here. Hey, Hal. How are you doing? Hey, how's it going? Hi, Julia. How's it going? Um, yeah. So, so I'm here in um, MoMA. Um, we just did a periscope um, with. Uh, um, to curate the, the chief curator of the Jackson Pollock um, exhibit, um, as well as uh, the curator's assistant, um, who um, both took us through kind of you know all of these incredible paintings. Um, but really, for me, what was super special um, was just this number thirty-one. And what's cool about it, and what the curators were telling me, is that it. The majority of um, museums that show this exhibit um, or show this piece do so with much higher, higher ceilings. So if you see, if I'm just gonna flip to, to portrait mode, the ceilings are super low here. And basically what that means is that it kind of feels like you're in a living room. Um, and like, if I just go in, it's so close to this incredible piece and you can get so much detail on the strokes, and this was done in the in the drip style. Um, they were explaining, um, and the drip style um, basically um, involved Jackson Pollock um, standing over the canvas and just basically dripping uh, paint on, um, you know, in, in these kind of works. And, and apparently, his actual um, home and, 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 and studio, um, which is, I believe, in upstate New York. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Um, it looks like a piece of granite. Yeah, I don't know. Feels a li little more detailed to me, but may may maybe maybe from your perspective. So this is the pot. This is a Pollock exhibition, um, but but all of the works in the Pollock exhibition are owned by MoMA. Um, or not may maybe owned is the wrong word, but 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 MoMA has um, all of this. This is the Jackson Pollock exhibit at the Museum of Modern Art in, uh, in New York. I'm just gonna show you kind of some of the paintings and we've got, we're a little bit before before opening time. I'm gonna say hi to Gretchen. Hey, how's it going? So Gretchen, <laughs> can everyone just please thank Gretchen for <laughs> sorting us out with access to this. Yeah. Um, oh, the internet's a bit slow. Okay, not to worry, we'll, we'll hopefully on replay it will yeah. work a bit better. Um, so Gretchen, um, maybe just say, say hi and say what you guys do. Uh, I'm part of the social media team here at MoMA, and I would really appreciate it if you guys would follow us on Periscope and everywhere else. Um, we scope often from the galleries uh, with artists, with designers, and with curators, so we really hope you'll uh, check out the scope we did this morning from the Pollock Show with the curators. Oh, awesome. Thanks so yeah. much, Gretchen. Yeah, so, so Gretchen organized this amazing tour, yeah. and you can see it, you can see it as you said. Um, I'm just kind of looking looking through this room. This is the final room in the exhibit. Um, th this piece I, I kind of was a bit taken by. You can see on the ground there's a little piece of tape so you can't, um, it's marking that you shouldn't walk past it. But this piece was kind of amazing to me. I think the colors are really crazy, but what's so cool is when, and maybe I'm not allowed to do this, maybe one of the security guards is gonna stop me. Oh, don't get too close. Okay, I'm gonna do it different. I'm gonna, sta I'm gonna stand within the line. I'm yeah, exactly. So many layers, right? And if you just go in here, you can just see how thick that paint is. So this is Jackson Pollock. This is the Jackson Pollock exhibit at MoMA. I'm a very lucky person to have um, access to this. And I'm just going to flip to landscape so that you can see. This is his latest work. Yeah, it looks wild, right? It's crazy. Um, yeah, really beautiful. Stunning. Just like, how cool would this be? Um, if this was in your home, if you could just... I do not own all of this. I would like to own all of this. I do not have the means to acquire it, um, Rasheen. Um, but, um, you know, maybe one day. You never know. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to show you the other room. I, I think the museum's opening quite soon. Yeah. So, so we, we're going to get kicked out of here pretty soon. Or this is some of the earlier work um, from the 40s and 50s from Jackson Pollock. 
And this is all part of Museum Week. So um, if you're broadcasting, find some great museums. I see that, um, uh, am I right that Judd is in here? Judd, hey, Judd, okay, Judd. This is a question for Judd Wellington in the broadcast right now. Um, any awesome museums in Ecuador that you can do a quick broadcast, hashtag Museum Week? Um, anything around the music that you've been doing, you know, which we all love at Periscope. Um, okay, awesome, yeah, do it. So this week, if you use hashtag Museum Week, you'll see that many of the hearts will turn into picture frames. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely check that out. I'm just showing you a few more pieces. Oh, awesome, awesome, Judd, that would be awesome. And anyone else who's kind of there, Julia, um, I'm not sure if Julia is still in the broadcast. Oh, yeah, okay, Julia Huff in the broadcast, Twafi, um, my soon-to-be sister-in-law. Um, she is, works in, with London museums. Um, and so if there are any awesome galleries that you can do a little periscope from, do a hashtag Museum Week, you'll get all these awesome picture frame hearts and you'll see this incredible um, um, kind of community coming together and really enjoying kind of watching art from all over the world. Um, we've seen broadcasts from the Museo del Prado in Madrid, who showed us never before seen Goya painting uh, drawings yesterday. Um, we had something from the Louvre this morning, MoMA today. Um, so, so, so anyone get involved, um, hashtag Museum Week and thank, always thank the social media um, folks who are supporting Periscope and supporting this. Okay, great, Julia, that would be awesome. Okay, I'm gonna go because we're getting kicked out. I just wanted to share this quickly with you. Um, thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you uh, soon. Okay, cheers, bye.